Hello and welcome back to Expeditions. I'm MJ Haggis. We are back in Arizona and we're back in the Grand Canyon. Now, I thought we would do amazing views. It's the next in a good sequence to get us through to unlocking other stuff and things like free roams and other maps. But anyway, this is amazing views and it says there are so many beautiful places here, but they change so dramatically with every season and every year. We never know what kind of natural maj majesty is going to erupt when we least expect it. So we just have to keep looking. Grab some photos at the following coordinates and let us know what you find. Okay, so if I move my head out the way, so there's two points up there, there's three points over there. That's where we're heading to. So we're going to need at least two trucks to deploy. But I'm thinking we're going to go for four. And I'll explain why. We've only got a distance of 2,200 meters in this and a little bit of height differences and a few ravines to negotiate. Rewards. We're going to get a rock crawler kit. Looking forward to getting that, but I don't know what vehicle it applies to. It doesn't tell me. But we do for a bonus kit. Don't recover the truck. We get 1,500 and completely consume no more than one item. Another 1,500. So we'll try and do that too. Let's hide that. We did an operator, which is a drone specialist, which is handy because I kind of bring them out anyway. So I think we'll select that. Pick some trucks. Now, I'm going to start with my canyon. I'll add you. Inventory. So I need to customize. Oh, you've got the fuel add-ons sitting there on the side, which is behind my head. Mm. Right here. Plenty of fuel. Nice. That's good. And we've also got the front one behind that crash bumper and a tire on the back. Right. Good. Happy with that. We'll keep the metal detector just in case. Let's move on to the next truck. We're going to go for the loaf. This one. And I have already had a quick look at it. Much wider with that suspension and arches. Stability increased uh, a lot, shall we say. A lot. Right. Hey, let's... Add you, and we'll customize to see if there's anything else we can quickly throw on it. We've already got fuel for filling the slots. There's just one at the back there. And I'll show you what else I quickly threw on it since I was messing around in the garage was the tires. I've put these OS3s on it, which are good, excellent, and good. A little bit pricey at 7,000, but we did sell something. I can't remember what I sold. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's money invested. Still got 110,000, so we're not skinned. That was the lift kit I fitted. The rock crawler kit. That might be what we get in this one. I don't know. We'll try and remember if this becomes unlocked at the end of this task. Or expedition as it is. Fine-tuned gearbox. Middle of the engines, so not bad. Advanced winch. And a snorkel. No, snorkel's still locked out. Right, that's pretty much where we're going with that. We've got Emergency Reserve Large now. I got rid of the free one, and we've got the large. It cost me 10000 I think that's a good investment for the extra fuel. Uh, 75 points of spare parts, 30 litres of extra fuel, and one spare tyre. Great stuff. Rear-mounted rack, metal detector, reinforce the skid plate, which is just to protect the axle. And we've got the fancy rims. Colours red. And a few stickers. I did actually change this, but I think this bugs out. I put them on. In fact, they are ticked. So I've got emotional support vehicle with a little teddy on it. Keeps keeps Macaulco Canyon emotionally supported with this. Right, let's come back into that. Come back into that. It should be another sticker on the roof, to be honest. Hey, can I even see that? No. Oh, yeah. No, I can't get above. I've got two stickers on the side and one on the roof. Right. Okay, that's good. Next truck. I'm going to go with the Lodestar SE. We'll add you. Do a bit of customization if I can. Yes, we can. We'll start with the big stuff, like the engine stuff. Okay, we can go up an engine. We will do. I see this is an investment. And we'll sell the wee one. Gearbox. Fine tune. Oh, 7,000. But yeah, I'm going to do it. Stock kit. Can't change any of that. So again, we need to watch if that one becomes unlocked. Tires. They're the not so good ones. We'll Switch it up to these ones. Good, good and average off-roads. Or, yeah, these are the best ones so far. We'll sell them or nothing. We'll give them back. Stock winch, we'll go up to the advanced. 
Heavy advanced. That sounds quite interesting. We've got to explore the region, but we'll go to the advanced. The extra distance and power can make the difference. We'll sell that for a thousand. Already got the snorkels. Okay, moving on to the next stuff. Miscellaneous. Right, we've purchased that. Let's install it. Can't remember where that came from. We'll get rid of that. Anything else that gives us sl uh, extra slots for fuel and stuff, we'll consider. And that's a big fat. Nope. Rear, what do we get? Rear mounted rack. Yes, that does, though. So we'll fill them with fuel. Okay, add to slot. 200 for 15 liters. What a ripoff. Okay, and another one. And that should remain now that it's fitted on it. Don't need to buy that again. Escape that. Roof has got the metal detector. Stock front bumper. Seriously, okay, like I'm not so fan of that. Is that it? Big reinforced. Okay. And reinforced. Need to do some hunting and com or task completing for that. And the rims, well, that's fine. What have we got there? The twos. Yeah, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Right, everything else is okay. I'm not going to bother with that. So, come back out of there. And the final one, I thought we would take out the Actin. Because he carries lots of, well, a reasonable amount of room if we find things while we're out and about. I'll add you. Again, customization. Just to, Oh, see, new stuff. It's always worth checking. External roll kit. Yeah, we'll take it. Why not? And the reserves are still locked out to us. Okay. On the rear, that's locked. Roof rack we've got. But we need to fill it. And I'm going to go with... Fuel, fuel, and spare parts in case there's any bridges. That's mo oh no, that's fuel. Remove that. Spare parts. Add. Just in case we get that, because that's a uh, 100, and it's usually 75 for a bridge. That's that good. I think I forgot. Somebody mentioned in the comments I didn't put my stuff in the roof rack. A heavy bumper. That stock is okay. We can get rid of that for nothing. Yeah, that's all fine. I'm not fussed about the roof, uh, sorry, the visors, rims, and the module should be the short sideboard. Yep, still haven't locked whatever the Kong is. I don't know. A small compact Kong or smaller trucks. Oh, is that just like a, um, like a service spare parts add-on? Like uh, the, yeah, that's what I'm thinking it is. And a fuel tank. Okay, 300 litres of fuel. It'll be interesting to see when we get them. Colours, fine, that's fine. And the power. Still got the smallest engine. Gearbox. What can we do here? Oh, fine tune. Let's stick that in it. Excellent. Get rid of that. Suspension is still stock. Can't go to anything new there. Tires. What are we on here? Yeah, that's as good as we're going to get tire-wise. Extended winch already. That's fine. The diff lock is good. And the snorkel is... Is here, I think. Yeah, that one there. That's fine. I hope. Right, I think we're good to go, except for our operator. Yeah, let's go. Ooh, do we need inventory? I haven't done inventory. We'll do that for you. Just in case. Inventory. The idea will be when I exit the... To deploy, I'm going to maybe... If we can come back to base, leave these outside so I don't need to buy them again. And these ones will do it all the same. That's a lot of money. 5,600 so far. 8,300. That's a fair percentage of our reward money for this. Right, we need a operator. And we need the this one. Kane Ashida. Add. I think we're good to go now. In fact, no. I like to also add the mechanic for the extra anchors and stuff. So, Mike, you're coming with us for another 600? 9,500! Oh, my. Right, it'll be worth it in the end, I think, if we can unload a lot of the stuff back at base into the warehouse. Right, let's deploy. And we are going from... Yeah, two are going from here, and two are going from this one up here. So we'll put the loaf and the cotco, so load star, 
is going from the base, main base. Yes, and the Actian. In fact, no, that's not a good mix. Why don't we do Lodestar and Loaf? Right, Lodestar, Loaf, and Actian and Canyon. Right, okay. Now, it's purely for extra fuel and support is my method behind this using four vehicles. I might not even need four. Let's start. I'm always nervous about hitting the start button because of the costs. Uh, and have I forgotten something? It's not like SnowRunner where you can just jump straight back in. Right. Uh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Bit overkill with the two metal detectors. My stickers are actually working. Good. Nice. Right, let's test out the low for the super wide suspension now. So we need to take a photo of the plane. Right, we know where the plane is. It is... It's right here. So, back down the hill... Somewhere... Or, we're going to head to that bit. Amazing views, amazing views. So we need to go probably to here. And then to there to finish. Okay. Permanent diff lock, permanent all-wheel drive, don't need to worry about that, but I do like my gearbox now. Now I am tempted, or oh, this one, the field operations base has a warehouse. Let me quickly back up. I want to double check, see if there's anything actually left in it from the last time. Because there's been a game update, I don't know if this will have emptied or not. So just bear with me. Oh, it has the stuff in it, two of each. Well, yeah, live and learn. Okay. Okay. And we've got the camera traps. Okay, cool. We've got plenty. Good to know for the future and fuel and spare parts. Right, okay. Now, safe in that knowledge, we can carry on. Not exactly making super fast progress, but I'd rather go slow and steady and fast and tip over, which is what this guy was doing in the last episode that I used him. Is he going to be one of those ones that drops down to first gear at any opportunity, though? Yeah, he backed down to first. As soon as he came over the first boulder, he dropped it back to first. Oh, yeah, I would have tipped over there as well. Oh, that's that wide arches and the uh, axles. What a difference. Now, maybe the loaf is a, a very much a viable alternative to things like the Kotko Canyon because he actually has an extra slot as well. It's probably going to be down to fuel consumption because this is a permanent all wheel drive. So it's going to be maybe a little bit more thirsty than the canyon, which can be. Switching off the diff lock and the all-wheel drive. Okay, we're going to go down here. You go around the back of this rock, as I recall. Look at this. He's, I don't know if putting the wide axles on it will also, you know, just for game physics, in, uh, lower the center of gravity. Because there's more weight underneath now, because there's wider axles, more metal. It makes sense to me, but I do not know if that is actually a mechanic, a game mechanic. It'd be nice if it was. Right, where are we going up here? I do like my loaf now. And we're going up there. Okay. No trees to... Well, there's trees up the back here. I think maybe, is this what you oh, there's uh, my metal detector. It'd be nice if that beeped when it found new stuff as well, because I didn't see that, like, I don't know when that came on. What have we got? But even if it flashed, that would be quite nice. Right, where are we going? Over there. Okay. Upgrade. Again, we're getting the three, and I don't know if that's, I still don't know if that's a bug, a glitch, showing three instead of one, or is it the possibility of three locations somewhere over there. I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of making it up. Like, close that. 
And because of that, I'm going to stop the engine and send up the drone and find it. Up we go, you were over there. Upgrades. In my opinion, well worth going after sooner rather than later because it can make all the difference. So there it is, down the shoreline. There you are. Hello. How do we get to you? I'm just going to fly past a little bit and turn around. Trying to get the lay of the land. Do we come round? Where is it? Back it up a bit more. There it is there. We... Right in the middle of the screen there, there's a little... Like a little canyon or ravine thing. Do we get across that and do we come ar around from that side? Or... How do we get to that one? Do we come from this way? Maybe somewhere away over there in the distance and along the shore? Hmm, okay. We're going to have to suss that out. Because that looks like quite a cutting in that rock down there, if you can maybe get across it. Or do you drop down more from one of the plateaus just above it? Hmm. I like those sort of challenges. Anyway, in the meantime, we're going to try and get up here. Again, I don't know if this little climb here is the intended route they wanted us to go, or do we come along, maybe go up over there, or go along right there in the middle of the screen and then up and round? Kind of hard to tell. However, let's just try and go up there. Let's get the air out the tires and see how good this little guy is at climbing. I do wish the rocks were slightly more grippy. Yeah, you're not going to go up there, are you? Yeah, really? That's with your oh, suddenly. Is that going to be as far as you go, though? Yeah. Okay, let handbrake on. Stay there. Let's get our anchors, since we've got ten of them. Well, give me a decent point to anchor. Really, that's all green. Why does that not allow it? Let's see if I can move my camera into a better position. Nothing. Nothing. Not a thing. Really? Well, that's harsh. You know it's gone green, but... To me, I think that would be a viable position. Right, it's going to have to be there, isn't it? And hope for the best. Does that go in? Nope. Dead tank. There you go. Wasn't wanting to set there when I was hitting the button. Right, okay. Let's get the winch out. Go for that one there. Because I'm going to hopefully turn right. Right, power on. Handbrake off. And pull. Up you go. Up you go. Up you go. Right, release and drown. Oh no! Okay, that, that was close. I was trying to do it all in one fancy manoeuvre. Right. Handbrake, handbrake. Engine on. Right, let's see, can we do it? How steep is that? Doesn't look too bad. I don't want to put down, another anchor down, but I have to. That's it. Oh no, that's it. Nice and slowly, climb up. Oh. Again, I've got the softest tires, but it just doesn't seem to want to climb like I thought the soft tires was wanting to do. But we're up. I'm okay with that. Let's get that off. Scan. We scanning that thing. Take a photo of the plane. Plane, where are you? Plane. There you are. Right. Take a photo. That's a frame. And we'll go for a bit closer. That'll do. And focus. There we go. Um, shame I can't get the background into focus as well for the photo. But never mind. We'll take that. Add that to our album. Thank you very much. Engine's off. So that's effectively done. So I didn't actually need... 
my load star. Typical. Right, now we need to go up there. Back down. That could be more interesting. Right, back it up. In fact, I'm going to just reverse all the way down. I'm not going to try and turn to get nose. Oh, okay, no, I'm going to do it this way. There we go. Oh, oh, yeah. Close. End up on your heels. End up at Eve. See? That's, that was exactly what I was intending to do. A little bit of damage. Oh, higher pressures. Let's put them up one. Should be okay. I don't think we'll take too much damage it this way. Yeah, it's not flashing red or anything, so... I... Is that low plus is okay at that speed? How about high ratio? Oh, look at the awesome little loaf! Round you go, round you go. Scan the plane. That. Right. And break on, engine off, scan. Oh, I was thinking of a four. Okay, a white square box is getting smaller, so I take that as it's getting in the right direction. We're heading towards the plane. Oh, 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 there it is. There it is. Where do you want me to go? Ah, of course. There we go. One down. Oh, there's the other one. Hey, that was an easy one. And where's this? Is it another loose piece? Box is not getting smaller. Kind of staying the same. Does that mean it's maybe up? Oh, it's getting smaller now. Oh, there it is. It's over there. I don't see any plane parts. Oh. There we go. All done. Nice! Right, exit that, I suppose. Stage complete. Okay. Nice. Let's come into the map. Nothing more we can do there. Right, there's those three points. That's... Yeah, that's up by the tower. We've been there already. Okay, what should we use? Canyon? Or Actian? That's right, isn't it? And what I've got here. Acting. Now we'll go... Yeah! Let's bring out the acting. Why not? Change truck. Well, saying that, we might need the metal detector just in case something else comes to light. How do I change map? I'll just do with the map view. Map, what, what, oh! Right, okay, we're good. See, I'm also considering, is this one of these places to put up a warehouse again for all the the stuff that we might find? Because there's an airdrop just over there, literally spitting distance. We're going that way. Right, a map, let's set. See, there's that one there with another jack screw. If I had a warehouse, I could drop that there and I wouldn't have to buy one for coming over here. We'll come back to that because it might still happen. Right, we're going here. They are up. Climb. And then these three points. Okay, that's dead easy. One well, engine's on already. Yeah, I do want to... I need to know if these are viable. You're not wasting money buying something, but you do get a full 100% refund if you sell whatever you build. So... I am tempted. I've got a funny feeling. Am I meant to be going up there already? Hold on, check the map. Oh, that doesn't look nice. Yeah, I need to go there, I think. I get up. Before I make a further mistake. Yeah. Whoa, what's going on here? Is I caught in that tree? Again, shall we? Up we go. A little bit of all-wheel drive. Go on, 
Hot coal, yeah. The old drive by off again. Having not been to Arizona, unfortunately, maybe one day, are all these rocks really what it's like? It would be nice if the train had slightly less rocks. I was considering going up there, but this is just as easy here. I'm just thinking, like, sometimes the physics, again, does it need a tweak? Because these things bounce so much over rocks at any speed. And while they're doing that, make these rocks a little bit more grippy. Up, one, up we go. We'll go to this one first. Like, what have we got to do here? Take a... Oh, it's a scan, okay. No, it's a photo. It said scan. Hey, where's my tower? Where's my tower? Okay, let's zoom it back out a bit. Oh, yeah, that's good. And focus. There we go. Is that the photo we want? Yeah, yeah, why not? Oop. Add that to the album. How's the time of day? I feel it's getting dark. Oh, it's half past nine. Oh, okay. Let's get it down to the morning. That's better. Spend the night up here. That's okay. Into this one, start scanning. Engine off. Now, oh, a... E While I'm at it, oh, it's another photo. Okay. Um, the other reason I brought out the four vehicles other than support is purely and simply oh that's going green is this is a fairly easy expedition is we might want to go uh, and do some other of the tasks and contracts and the four vehicles will make it so much easier to continue without having to worry about running out of fuel anyway let's add this one to the album and continue Right, and there we go. Yeah, so I don't really want to go back to the HQ just yet, since we've got four good vehicles here with plenty of fuel. So, in my mind, it's worth continuing. But that will be in the next episode. Let's engine off scan. Oh, we're doing one of these again. Yep. Next one. Is it going to be in the tower? I thought it was going to be the power. Okay, right. My box is smaller, 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 smaller. There we go. Okay, this way. Yep, I guess. Oh, there it is. Whoop. Cool, that was it done. Thank you very much. Expedition complete. Rock crawler kit available. Now, I don't want to go back to HQ to find out what this fits to, so we'll need to try and remember, but we gained 16,900 cash. We didn't do any of the other stuff, so we got a bonus of 3,000. Thank you very much. Get rewards. Yes. And I'm not going to go back. To, I'm going to continue not to HQ. So these stuff, I'm... I'm not going to sell it because you're going to lose so much money. Right, back out of there. I was too. See, this is another one. We're close to the Coconino Gateway from there. So I reckon maybe buying one of these developer areas, areas and having a warehouse there would be not a bad idea. Because there's look at all the stuff over here still to go and do. What's this? Swamp. What is it? Yes, yeah, swamp. So if we're going to use this outpost a lot more. That would be sensible. So, on that basis, act in, change truck. Hey, okay, maybe take the one on the right. Engine 
engine off ill. So, for 10,000, I'm thinking the warehouse, and then we can drop our stuff off. Let me know if that's good advice, bad advice. Let's see, if I buy that, which I've just done. Uh, where's the sell? If I sell it again, I'll get my full money back, as I think. So, in theory, right, come out of that. Engine is off. If I go into the map view and check this airdrop, there's a jack screw and two metal parts. Right, okay, close that. I can drop off my jack screw now and pick up the one in the airdrop, which will then refresh at some point. Why not? And then I'll bring the Coco Canyon back down and drop its stuff off, maybe, depending on what we're doing, and head off. Maybe we'll come across another airdrop and we can load up. There's one there. If we're heading off in that direction, I can maybe ditch the anchor. But if that changes, I'll need to be aware of it. And not drop the wrong thing off. But guys, I hope you don't mind. It's going to be a little bit of a shorter one. I just want to get the expedition done. And in the next episode, we'll do a little bit of exploration. Maybe we've got new old friends. Is that? Yeah, new old friends is right down here. We've got unsuccessful the fallen truck which is away over there and you do that for andrew mcfadgen who suggested it we don't even know what that's involved yet <laughs> what else have we got dried up gorge is that not here yeah dried up. we've got loads of things we can do and we've got trucks just nearby so it'll be interesting i'll figure out what we're going to do in the next episode please come back and join me for that you will see me again soon bye for now